Welcome back to Apterabytes. Very quick video today. Just wanted to notify you that the Lightyear 2 waitlist has opened as of about an hour ago. So this is going to be a four-wheeled vehicle. They're hoping for about 500 miles of range, which includes any solar range that you're adding in. And the target price is less than 40,000 US dollars. So that is obviously a huge difference compared to the $250,000 price tag on the flagship vehicle from Lightyear. So to join the waitlist, you just click here, just put in your information and hit submit. The waitlist is not a pre-order or reservation. It simply gets you in line. There are a few differences that you can see already based on this render. You've got a power output port here. On the Lightyear Zero, this area here actually has the cameras for the side view mirrors. You can see on this vehicle, the side view mirrors look more traditional. And also you can see on the back wheel, you don't have that sort of half cover that I think they had done for aerodynamics. And it looks like all four wheels will be sort of open to the air in a more traditional fashion. Again, there's the side view mirror here, which looks a lot more traditional. So this just talks about being free from the electrical grid. A lot of these things do not need to be told to Aptera enthusiasts. These are the reasons that we are interested in Aptera. Looks like it's going to have the in-wheel motors. So again, the waitlist is a free, no commitment subscription. Anyone on the waitlist will be the first to hear about the actual impending launch of the Lightyear 2. Here it says once pre-orders are opened, the waitlist will get priority in placing the pre-orders. I already showed you how to sign up. You'll get an email confirmation. It's free. So the expected production timeline is to start in 2025, but not early 2025. They're talking about late 2025. So obviously with everything, there are always delays. And so I think that's an optimistic timeline. You would probably not get this vehicle until 2026 at the earliest. They still do not have any specifications. So we cannot compare it to the Aptera in any way other than the expected price should be pretty similar. I did join the waitlist and it gave me a place in line and the number that it gave me started with US. So I think it will give you your place in line based on what country you're ordering from. Okay, that's all I've got. Pretty exciting, the possibility of a four or five seater vehicle, sort of similar to the Aptera with probably similar zero to 60 times probably slightly worse aerodynamics. Certainly a different design, but I think a vehicle that Aptera enthusiasts will be very excited about. Obviously the timeline indicates that you would probably get your Aptera first, and this would be something that you could budget for either in 2026 or 2027, because obviously this is coming from Europe and they would probably deliver to Europe first unless they were able to set up a manufacturing plant in the United States. Based on the price, this vehicle would be eligible for the EV tax credit if they are able to produce the vehicle in the United States and try to get a lot of the minerals from countries that we are friendly with. So that's all I've got for today's quick video. Let me know what you think.
Are you excited about this vehicle? Is it too redundant compared to the Aptera to have both of them? Or do you feel like it would also fill a role in your life as well as in the world of solar electric vehicles? What do you think of the price? Do you think it'll stay under $40,000 or do you think it'll go up? As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.